So, if you're one of these golfers that will take a alignment stick here and you will try your best to let the putter go back, keeping the line exactly square all the way through and all the way back, I'm here to tell you that unfortunately you're doing something very difficult that you shouldn't be even trying. Now, why would I say this? It seems so logical. Straight back, straight through, that should put the ball into the hole. The issue is that it's not actually in a perfect position to your body. You see, if you can imagine, if I'm putting straight over, like this, a broom handle putter, where the fulcrum, the point above, is directly over the line, this makes perfect sense. But unfortunately, 99% of golfers are not using a putter like this, and you're not actually allowed to fix it to your body anymore. So, you're probably using a putter similar to this, which means that the angle is now, has now changed. If I was, for example, to hold a putter up here and simply rotate, you can see that the putter comes inside. It returns, and then it comes on the other side. This is, of course, a 90-degree curvature. We don't have that. We are going to be a bit closer between, the eight, between 12 and 21, depending on your putting style. So, if I'm putting, the first thing I do, I putt a lot with my lower body, which means that from this point here, there is a big angle change from directly above to my hip. So if I'm a hip putter, let's say, I'm gonna let the club come in, rotate and go around. If, however, I'm more of a shoulder putter, so I only turn my shoulders up and down, the arc is gonna be considerably less. The result can be pretty similar. They can both be hit straight at the moment of impact, and that is the most important. I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, Vizio plates. One of them over here is 21 degrees and the other one is 12. And you can see the curvature is always on the inside of both sides. So if you're putting like that, I'd like you to stop. I'd like you to appreciate that the putter face must rotate around you both during the backswing and follow through. That way, like a door, we can hopefully return the club perfectly straight at the moment of impact. Otherwise, the club has to get away from your body and return before again getting away. And that, in my experience, I found is very difficult to do.